It's a Big East battle here at the Bradley Center between the Butler Bulldogs and the Marquette Golden Eagles. Peel for Marquette. Score is still 2-2, 18-23 left. And a three splash zone for Hanif Cheatham. That kicks out to Juwan Johnson just in time there. Carter for an open three. It's good. Tracy Carter was two, three points for the freshman. Haven't seen him attempt a shot yet. Instead, they go to Henry. Two, one on the shot clock. The jumper falls. Henry Ellison, unbelievable. Bounded from Etherington. It's going to be a long shot for Jones. It's good. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That shot went in. He banks it in. And we've got a tie ball game at halftime. What? Carter for three. He is on feeling it. He is feeling it right now. Ellenson dribbles a few times down low, goes off the glass, and it's good. Great play there for Henry Ellenson. Kellen Dunham, they could have got easy points inside with nobody there. Wide open three for Tracy Carter. Light it up. Tracy Carter is unstoppable. For the first time in the Steve Wojciechowski era, the Marquette Golden Eagles take down the Butler Bulldogs by a final score of 75 to 69. Good evening, fans, and welcome to Tri-City Smelly Cats Baseball here on the Valley Cats Baseball Radio Network and MILB TV. Thanks for joining us for tonight's game as the Smelly Cats take on the Aberdeen Ironbirds in game two of a three-game set. Here's the one-two. Swung on and missed, dropped third strike. Papierski out to get it. He'll throw down to first base with no glove and gets the out. Here's a 2-2. Curveball right down the pipe. Throws him up. Gorgeous pitch from Reggie Johnson. He strikes out the side here in the 10th inning. Matajevic lifts one out to left center field. That one's heading towards the wall. And that one's going to get down off the wall. Matajevic rounding first. Now will stay at second with a one-out double. Well, folks, it all comes down to this. In the bottom of the ninth inning, the Valley Cats find themselves down 2-1. to one. Jake Adams, the leadoff man against a new pitcher, Brian Trigloff. Adams' first pitch is launched out to right field. This one back towards the fence. It is gone! A home run for Jake Adams! Trigloff is set. First pitch to Sierra. Chop back up the middle. This could do it. It gets through the infield, and the Valley Cats walk off for the second night in a row. Miguel Angel Sierra, the hero, around scores. Saints, and it's stolen away by Colin Scarborough up for the easy layup, and the Saints take the lead. It's 21 20. We will set up the offense looking for a high screen from Scarborough. Benitez dribbling inside, goes up with a one-handed shot and knocks it down. Beautiful shot selection there for Benitez. Benitez up for a three-pointer. Good! She nails it! 34-33, the Saints take a one-point lead. Benitez again, she steals it, goes up for a layup. It is good! She gets the end one up and under. Benitez for three. You betcha! Jackie Benitez with 30 points. Benitez with the right, spins down low, goes up with the post, and it's good. What a move by Jackie Benitez. Here's Rawls passing into Edoka, nearly lost it and did. Rawls came up with it, passes out to Lundquist from Scarborough. Good, and a Lundquist with the first three-pointer of the game for the Siena Saints.